the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have assembled again today, and I'm assuring you in today's topic what the Lord says. He says, Moses, why are you standing and weeping? Today you are the Moses. I've told you to start. Don't waste time. And somebody saying, how do we start? Where do we start? Who takes us to start? Who will teach us to do? The Lord is saying something that will surprise you now. Do you know you have the thing in you? That is power in you that you don't know. That is power in your hands that you don't know. That is power all over you that you don't know. You have the key to success. It's in your pocket. I want you to dip your hand and bring it out now, like Moses. The Israelites saw Pharaoh was rushing to kill them. And the way for them to escape was full of sea. So, they couldn't run. Front, impossible. Back, impossible. If you were there, what would you do? Just crying. But Moses, the man of God, also cried. Even though he was encouraging and putting courage in the people where they weren't yielding, even himself was really frightened to the marrow because he saw they were in the midst of death and blue sea. Pharaoh was rushing with his furious army to deal with due death on Israelis. For them to escape, behold, the big ocean river was in front of them. They started crying. Look at them. Moses answered, Don't be afraid. Stand your ground and you will see what the Lord will do today to save you. And they were they're doing what? Hmm. You will never see these Egyptians again. The Lord will fight for you. And there is no need for you to do anything anymore. The Lord will fight the Egyptians today. What are the Egyptians of your life? These setbacks, these failures, the witches, the wizards, the occult people, the native doctors, the shrines of ancient cities. All these are Egyptians of today in your life. They fight you, stand still. But Moses, the man of God, I stand in place of Moses now and declaring, as Moses declared in his days, you will see the enemy no more. From this time around, you will see the enemies no more. The Lord will do the battle for you. It's now no longer your battle. Psalm 2 says, the king of heaven loved them to scorn, who planned evil against you. This is very our materialization of all these promises. God is doing something. And you are not going empty handed, as I'm telling you right now. God is going to do something mysteriously. Miraculous deliverance. In you, in your life, your family, your business, in your brothers and sisters, husband, wife, and family members. Listen now. When Moses was crying along with the people, God said, I told you, like Moses, you are being commanded. You have the power with you and around you, but you don't know. Look at it now. The Lord said to Moses, why are you crying out for help? Hmm. Tell the people to move forward. As I have been telling you to move forward and they are still standing. I say start and you are still Grouping around, how do we, what do we, and all those questions. Move in with whatever you have. Don't stand still. Lift up your walking stick and hold it out over the sea. Do you know you have a walking stick in your hand? 
the power, the mantle of victory. The mantle of victory. You remain a conqueror. The right hand of victory. Moses never knew that common stick he was holding in his hand was where the miracle all lies. He never knew. So I am surprising you today that you have embedded in you the power to overcome all this poverty, impoverishment, all these setback and failures, all these attacking forces. You have the authority and power and where with that and the paraphernalia. You have all the weaponry needed in your garrison to fight. J E S U S Jesus at the mention of name Jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue confesses that Jesus is the Lord. What are you waiting for? Shout that name Jesus. Shout it, Jesus. Shout it, Jesus. With that name, you will remain conqueror. All who mention this name, we are never disappointed. Romans 10, 13. They shall all be saved. Yours is not exceptional. You are a child of God. You have the authority to call this name and be a conqueror. Say amen. Look at it, what Moses said. Moses was looking at this common sticky was holding. Say, hold it out. So whatever you have, hold it out for God. Let him use it to do the miracle he wants. It's not impossible for God to just go and divide this. But he wants Moses to know that everything around him is blessed. God uses everything around him to start you again. You are a starter. To start you up again. Like a dead battery needs to recharge it. Like a motor without battery. This a battery to stay. <laughs> oh no. That battery will be installed in you this, this very moment as I'm talking. Spiritual installation of battery that will not die again. Say amen to that. And Moses held out common stick. Behold, great wind divided the great sea. And the people walked on dry ground. The enemy followed suit and they were caught up. You are going to pray with me now. You are not surprised that you have the power with you. The power is in your head. God has finished everything for you. Ephesians 1 3 says, Everything is kept in the heavenly places. So stretch your hand and take it. God wouldn't kill himself for you, has given you everything. Some people will wait to be. Spoon fed. He wants you to contribute. That's why I say Moses, use that. Stretch it out. You are asked, even if it's one naira, go and invest it in something. Something will come out of it. Surprisingly. You may through that get a big connection. Somebody will deeply connect you. Within this one month left, within this few days left, it's not yet over until it is over. When the Moses and Co. saw that their road has ended, they felt it is all over. But God is not over. The dead bones shall rise again. The impossible becomes possible. When there is no road, the Lord creates it with whirlwind. Hallelujah. He has his spiritual bulldozer. Fire prepares his way. Psalm 50 verse 3 says, Fire prepares the way of the Lord. If your ways are blocked, you will send fire and thunder, and the way will be created. Hallelujah. Join me in the prayers. Let go. Come on. Mm. Arise, O Lord. Let your enemies be scattered. Arise, O Lord. Let your enemies be scattered. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered. O Lord, O Lord, arise. O Lord, O Lord, arise in my family. O Lord, O Lord, arise in my business. O Lord, 
Oh Lord, right in my life. Oh Lord, oh Lord, right in my contacts. Oh Lord, oh Lord, right in my business. Oh Lord, oh Lord, right in my spirituality. Oh Lord, oh Lord, right in my faith. Oh Lord, oh Lord, arise in everything I do. Oh Lord, oh Lord, arise. Shuri mara kasa katara uroga koshi kire rama koso kuri rama urinda rama roro koshi kire rama kasa katara rama kuroro koshi kire rama koshi kire baba. Jesus, arise. Let your enemies be scattered. Arise, let your people be quickened. Begin to fight for them. The numerous enemies, let the angel leading change position to the rear. Mm, power. It is happening now. Game changer has stepped into the game. Everywhere is in chaos, turmoil. The kingdoms are ravaging. Mm. Father, deal with them one by one. Uproot them, their plans, scatter in Jesus' name. Let there be light at the end of this tunnel. Father, we thank you. Father, I know who you are. The enemies we see today, tomorrow no more. And you do the battle continually for us. Mm. Father, I thank you. Father, I worship you. Father, I honor you. Father, I adore you. I don't know I have the power in me. I don't know I have the capacity. I don't know I have the wherewithal. I don't know I have the ability to do all these things. Father, now I thank you for revealing this secret to me. I thank you for making me know that the, the, the ball is in my court. I thank you for helping me to empower me. I help you. I thank you for revealing the hidden power in me, which is given by thee as a gift from nature. Father, let me be awakened to this power that is installing me from birth. Father, I am asking you to do what you have done in ancient days. Awaken the power in me as you awaken the power in the ordinary staff of Moses. Father, where is my staff? Oh, my little money. Oh, my little business. Oh, my little everything around me is the mosaic staff. Father, I'm picking them this moment. I am pointing them to the sea. And the road will be where there was no road. You have done it again. I thank you. I worship you. I honor you. I adore you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Take note. The prayer you're going to say is how? Prayer 36, page 119. Prayer of invoking the Lord to rise and scatter. Prayer 36, page 119. Prayer of invoking the Lord to rise and scatter. Say it. Download this work if you don't have it. Download it and use it. Download it and use it. Once again, if you lost any period of this seven days, we are now on the fifth day, try and go into the web, www.okunerere.tv.net Go and say it and join in what we did there and then move quickly and see us for tomorrow, which is the sixth day. And the Lord will keep his promise because he does not change. May God Almighty continue to bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you.